Hello friends, so what we're doing today is going over the um, <clears throat> Project Euler. We're going to do the second problem in that uh, in JavaScript. It's not super hard, but there's some cool things to learn. So each new term in the Fibonacci sequence is generated by adding the previous two terms. By starting with 1 and 2, the first 10 terms will be 1, 2, 3, 5, uh, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, and 89. Okay, so basically the Fibonacci sequence looks like this. If you go 1 plus 2 equals 3, then the next line that you would add would be 2 plus 3 equals 5, and then you would add 5 plus 3 equals 8, then you would add 8 plus 5 equals 13, then you would add 13 plus 8 equals 21, and then you would add 21 plus 13 equals 34. So, and on and on and on. You see how it goes. So basically like one plus two is three. Then you take this number and this number and add them together. Two plus three equals five. Take these two numbers, add them together. Three and five is eight. Eight and five is 13. 13 and eight is 21. 21 and 13 is 34. So it's not super hard to understand that. So basically, in this problem, it says, by considering the terms of Fibonacci sequence whose values do not exceed 4 million, find the sum of the even term values. So basically, that means we're going to have to map out the Fibonacci sequence under 4 million. Then we're going to add all the even values of the Fibonacci sequence together that, that are under 4 million. So how would we do that? Well, let's start out by making a function, and we'll just call it sum of evens. And in that, we're going to put a limit. And then we'll set up some variables. We'll set up one called temp. We'll set up one called a. We'll set that equal to 0. b will be equal to 1. Shoot, 1. And then um, sum will be equal to 0. So those should be all the variables that we need. So let's start a while loop. While b is less than limit that we pass in, what are we going to want to do? We're going to want to take temp, which right now isn't set to anything. We'll take temp and set it equal to A. And then we'll take A and set it equal to B. And then we'll take B and we'll add to that whatever temp is. Shoot. Then we'll check, so if B and 1 is equal to zero, what are we going to do? We'll add to sum that term b. So what is this b and one doing? Let's go into node real quick and I'll show you. So if you take a number, uh, like a number like this, any number, and you go and one, it's this, basically the same thing as taking the same number <clears throat> and going modulus two. Uh, they both return, if they're, if they're odd, they'll return one. If they're even, they'll return zero. Uh, the reason, the difference behind it, like under the hood, is that the AND1 is taking it and turning turning the characters into 32-bit uh, characters and then returning them in JavaScript form. The modulus 2 is just checking to see if there's a remainder. So if you take 4, modulus 2, it's 0, meaning there's no remainder, meaning that it is even. If you take 4 AND1, it will return 0 as well. So it's just another way of writing it. Uh, so let's run through this. What is that? This is the most important part of this code. This is the best part to learn. So let's take something like this. Let's say that you have a variable a. Uh, var, geez, var a equals one. And then you have a variable b. Var b equals two. And now let's say that you wanted to flip those two. Let's say that you wanted to make a two and b1. Well, you could set a equal to b. Now you have a is 2 and b is 2, but the 1 is gone. So that won't work. So in the same way, you can try and set b equal to a, but none of that will work. So what you'll have to do is bring in another variable, temp. So we just make temp a variable, and it's undefined right now. And then we set up our a equals 1, b equals 2, var b equals 2. Now if we wanted to switch a and b, if we wanted to flip those two, we could just go temp equals a, 
So now temp is 1, A is 1, and B is 2. And then you could go B equals temp, right? So temp equals A. So temp is 1, A is 1. You want A to be 2. So you can go A equals B. So now temp is 1, A is 2, and B is 2. And you wanted B to be 1, so you go B equals temp. So now you can see A is 2, B is 1. We have successfully flipped our variables by bringing in a third variable. That's basically the idea of what we're doing here. Temp will be equal to A, A will be equal to B, and then we'll add to B whatever temp is, right? So each time that this test passes to where B is less than limit, it will run this code. Then it will check if B is even. If it is even, it will add that B term to sum. So down, all of that seems like it should work. So down here, let's just return sum. Then we need to uh, console.log our uh, answer and swer. And then we can add to that. Uh, what was the name of that? Sum of evens. And we wanted to do it to 4 million, so 4e6 equals 4 million. And let's see if it runs. Um, no, oh, no, Euler 2. Okay, cool. So the answer is this. Uh, 4,613,732 is the... <clears throat> sum of all even values in the Fibonacci sequence under 4 million. So this is a cool little kata that we did. Uh, I would go over this part of the code and make sure that you understand it. You can also play around with the AND1 here instead of the modulus 2. That's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, just keep coding and play around with it. But this one's pretty good. Hope it helped for sure.